Welcome to the IRMS 6th Grade Science Week 2 Slideshow Online Lessons with Mr. Villarreal and Ms. Carr. Welcome back, future scientist. Ms. Carr and Mr. V hope that last week's activities weren't too bad. We both appreciate all the hard work you did for all your classes. Remember that if you need to get in touch with us, you can always send us an email. Ms. Carr, C. Elms at yisd.net, Mr. Villarreal, A. Villarreal at yisd.net. This week's science lessons will also be available to you via Google Classroom. As before, you will have the entire week to complete one or two of the activities in this unit. You do not need to do all of them. You choose which ones. You are also welcome to accept other challenges if you have the time for it. Here are a few of today's sixth grade science announcements. Check your email daily. Go to my.yisd.net and click the Outlook Mailbox, Outlook Mail box. If you haven't done so, please also fill out the Assignment Feedback Google Form. Don't forget that breakfast and lunch to go will be provided at Hanks High School from 7.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. Also, this just in, if you have Mrs. Vandergriff for Language Arts, she would like you to take the I-Station assessment as soon as possible. The bad science joke of the week is, the aquarium again? Dude, can't we go to the planetarium? Week 2, April 13th through April 17th, the outer planets of the solar system. Last week, the focus was on our nearby neighbors in the solar system. Now, let's take a deeper look at the rest of our frozen friends. For your bell ringer this week, answer the following question to the best of your knowledge. Besides life on Earth, do you think that there is life elsewhere in our solar system? Justify your answer. Again, share your ideas or opinion on Flipgrid. Check back on the Flipgrid later to see how other 6th graders responded. Maybe we can get some guest teachers to share with, us this, share with us this week too. The Outer Planets of the Solar System 611a describe the physical properties, location, and movements of the planets. As a class, we will explore the physical characteristics of the outer planets, the gas giants. This week, you will complete one or two of the outer planet-related activities of your choosing. They are listed on the next page. On the following page, there will be extra challenges for you to tackle. Plus, there is a link to additional resources about the solar system for you. The Outer Planets of the Solar System Activity 1. Compare and Contrast Review the inner planet section of the solar system passage that is included in last week's Google Classroom assignment. Your copy should also be in your Google Drive. Then read the section on the outer planets. Use this information to compare and contrast the inner planets and the outer planets. How are they similar? How are they different? You may use the Venn diagram worksheet that is included in the Google Classroom assignment or use your imagination to show the similarities and differences in a fun way. Be sure to include at least four similarities and four differences. The more, the better. Activity 2. Spacebook Profile Imagine if the planets had social media of their own. What would that be like? For this assignment, 
choose one of the outer planets and create a Spacebook page for it. You can use the slideshow template from the Google Classroom assignment if you'd like, or make your own, even on paper. When you are done, don't forget to take a snapshot of it, if you do it on paper, and upload your assignment to turn it in. Activity 3, Alphabet Book Part 2. Use your language skills to complete the second half of this activity. Using Slideshow, finish the ABC book about the solar system. Use the second half of the alphabet from N through Z for the outer planets next week. Each page will be for a different letter. For example, the first page might say A is for asteroid. An asteroid is a minor object that orbits the Sun between Mars and Jupiter's orbits. Each page should also have a drawing illustration to go along with it. Your book has to be focused on the solar system. Make sure you have a title slide as your book cover with your name on it. You may add an About the Author page too. Activity 4. A Trip Through the Solar System. This activity is for our writers and storytellers. Write a narrative about a trip through the solar system. It must be realistic fiction, so include facts and information about each of the planets. You may include other objects as well. That could include asteroids, moons, comets, dwarf planets, and meteors. You can create a Google Doc through the Google Classroom assignment page. Give your story a name too. Feel free to do additional research on the planets for a better story. Here's a link to Mr. V's YouTube Space Channel. When you were done, remember to upload it, if you need to, to turn it in. All work is due this Friday, the 17th, at 5 p.m. If you need help, please feel free to email us. Remember that we will be available on Tuesdays and Thursdays to give you more guidance. See your master schedule for more details. Extra, extra, here are some challenges. Challenges two and three can substitute for any of the activities on the previous page. Challenge one, Starkitect. This is the same as last week. This website allows you to create your own star system. There are plenty of mini games and activities to keep you busy too. The site does require you to sign up for a free account. If you click on the link below, you will find a video that will walk you through the process. Challenge 2. The Astronomical Unit Astronomers actually use a unit of measurement called the Astronomical Unit, abbreviated AU, which is the average distance between Earth and the Sun. Use the information in the attached worksheet to calculate the number of AUs between each of the planets and the Sun. Don't forget to turn in your assignment. Challenge 3. Singing and Dancing Maybe you tried the Superstar Challenge last week. It's time to step it up a notch and add a dance routine to it. You can usually find instrumental versions of most songs on YouTube. Then you can click on the same Flipgrid link from last week to record your new song and dance. Ms. Carr and Mr. Bean know that we have so many talented kids in 6th grade. Upload your video to Flipgrid with the link below. You also have additional resources and websites there in green. Mr. V's Solar System YouTube channel. The Brain Pop Video Collection. Make sure you log in through Clever. Solar System Scope. The NASA Kids Club. And Legends of Learning. Remember that if you have any questions, please feel free to ask Ms. King, I'm sorry, Ms. Carr or Mr. V.